Hey, what's up guys? My computer issue is fixed and I can say that with a 99% certainty and it's been running for a couple of hours and, and uh, the error and issues have not been occurring and it's actually running a lot more responsive now and uh, I'm going to be kind of cataloging the things that have happened, uh, the troubleshooting that I did and uh, kind of go through uh, my journey repairing this computer. So, a couple, like maybe almost a year ago, or let's say like 10 months or whatever, uh, Ableton 10 came out. And when I installed Ableton 10, for some reason it reinstated or re enabled um, Windows automatic updates. And it updated to the latest for the Creators Edition or the Anniversary Edition or something like that. Some happened. And uh, it downloaded all the latest drivers, all the latest updates, um, uh, Windows Defender, blah, 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 blah. And uh, after that, I started getting these issues where the screen would lock up and uh, it would lock up the win moving a window. You wouldn't be able to move the windows. You'd be able to move the cursor for a little while. And then the cursor would freeze, wait 30 seconds, and then uh, the computer would blue screen. It's the first clue. So... I was like, what the heck is going on here? And then um, I got ill, and uh, you know I had to deal with that. So I kind of put the problem on pause, essentially. And then I uh, come back. I'm like, I want to work on videos and stuff like that. And uh, this issue still occurred. So I was like, okay. So my theory was, and uh, the uh, Focusrite support, which is my sound card, Focusrite support um, basically said that uh, updates can tend to break uh, drivers and weird things can happen and uh, confirm that I was using the right sound card, et cetera, et cetera, or the, the right uh, Firewire card uh, to connect to my sound card right here. And I was like, what is going on? And uh, I did some tests. I uh, used the computer under load uh, for Mark 3D, no, for Mark and 3D Mark. Uh, whatever i use both of those uh intel burn test uh mem test 86 i ran that for a while uh ruled out dust ruled out thermals and uh this error would uh, still happen could be every two days uh, once a day once a week uh, they would just happen and it would freeze and uh, the exact same freezing behavior each time uh with a crash dump stating that uh, NVIDIA driver has uh, stopped responding. The problem with the NVIDIA driver. And I was like, what is going on here? So I was like, okay, so maybe Windows has, with the update, messed up some sort of driver, things got copied over, whatever, you know, lost, corrupted. So I um, restored Windows using their restore tool. And... Uh, same issue happened again. And I was like, what the heck is going on here? Using the latest drivers of everything, also first clue, or second clue, using the latest drivers, I was like, eh, whatever. And, uh, you know, and it, got, and it got to the point where I just, I didn't want to live with this constant, like, crashing all the time. Or, like, you know, just, I, I guess the word would be intermittent crashing or freezing, hanging. And uh, I was like, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reinstall windows from from a disk i used a, an, uh, an iso i used rufus and uh, i had ran into a problem where i had all i had was a usb 2 drives and my motherboard x99e only has usb 3 ports so it wouldn't boot so what i did is i got clever and i uh, used rufus and uh, used a mode where you can write uh, the ISO as a bootable disk to a hard drive, and I used that instead, and that worked quite well. So if you're in that issue and you have the same kind of setup as me, or whatever, you can do that. And uh, reinstall Windows, got everything good to go, things were running well, um, testing, things were going well. And then I installed the drivers for my outboard gear, and it started happening again almost immediately. And I was like, okay, hardware issue. Has to be a hardware issue. Uh, so what I did, looking at the NVIDIA driver, I swapped out my 970 with a known working uh, 660 
uh, used uh, something called uh, DDU to remove all the drivers, do a in safe mode, and then reinstalled the uh, drivers with uh, this guy in there. Clean installation, same error again. The 970 crashed a little bit more gracefully than the 660. Uh, windows wouldn't be able to move, um, and then cursor would soon freeze uh, a couple seconds after that. Choppiness, and then, you know, blue screen. So I was like, okay, not the video card. Unless on the off chance, weirdly, that both video cards um, simultaneously have a hardware failure within them. Uh, but highly unlikely, but it wasn't going to rule it out. So I was like, ah, okay. At this point, I was thinking hard drive, no, not hard drive, power supply. It has to be a power supply. Power supply, uh, uh, video card not getting enough power, and it kind of panicking and then shutting down. I was thinking that. But weirdly enough, I, I've used it under extreme load, like everything under 100% load. 100% uh, thermal, whatever. And uh, it didn't happen there. It would happen during the most mundane kind of crashes. And also, I should mention, my sound card or my audio interface would cut out. And this this tends to happen with a, uh, with a new install of Windows. Um, and it's uh, part of the, the sample rate conflict. Um, Windows doesn't necessarily talk to uh, sound gear like this that well. It talks to the onboard um, sound. So if you know if you're working in uh, 44.1 and uh, Windows is in 48, uh, you'll get some bad things happening. So how you mitigate this is you install your onboard sound drivers and then have them set to the sample rate that you want, and that's what windows will talk to and then you have your uh your outboard gear set to the same sample rate and that that works and uh sometimes it'll cut out for a little while but then for some reason it just kind of fixes itself it's it's a, like a self-correcting system it's a ghost in the machine basically and then you don't get these audio dropouts uh, which is pretty cool but i was getting those and i was like and i was getting them very frequently i was like what the heck is going on here it shouldn't be doing this this often which was Clue number three, and I was like, okay, so it has to be, it has to be the, the power supply because the firewire has power. It's not getting enough power. The motherboard's not getting enough power. For some reason, maybe that's what's occurring. Things like that. And I was like, out of ideas, and I have my my notes here. Yeah, yeah. So I have written down uh, graphics card or power supply, CPU or thermal paste, um, coding issues, whatever that means, uh, trying a fresh install, and then I have it to do backup, sample drive, install Dr. Power, check for latest drivers, et cetera, et cetera. So last night, I was like, act of desperation. I was like, when you're in when you're in this much trouble, who do you ask? Well, you ask Linus Tech Tips, uh, but he was unavailable. Um, the captain uh, couldn't uh, come down and talk to me. So I went to his forum instead, <laughs> Linus Tech Tips. And uh, this is what it uh, kind of looks like here. And uh, this is my sound card, by the way, 441. Um, this hasn't dropped out yet today, which is a very good sign. And I was uh, explaining my uh, issues and my situation, and uh, this beautiful man sharing a mango with Linus, I forget the other guy's name, he's cool too, uh, helped me out. Stated I was getting a um, DPC watchdog violation, and he said, it's the PLX chip on your motherboard causing issues with the NVIDIA driver. I had not known this. I don't know what a freaking PLX chip is, but he said that, and I was like, okay, this is something that I haven't investigated yet. What the heck is a PLX chip? So I look up uh, PLX... Um, uh, NVIDIA, and I get uh, this right here. People with NVIDIA cards and the X99, right? X99. Um, they're having the issue of, you know, uh, random crashes with uh, more than one card installed. And 
you know, people are getting all hung up here. And it's like, holy crap, this might be solved. X9 and EWS. Uh, different uh, revision of USB, but still basically the same. Also, I'd like to mention that uh, during this time, um, uh, updated BIOS firmware, um, reset the BIOS, um, you know, things like that. Did everything that you're supposed to do. And, uh, yeah, he's using uh, 4G. This is a, a rendering uh, community forum and they have uh, you know, the same kind of workstation uh, motherboard that I have which I already said anyway so I was looking at this I was like hey what's going on here so there's a there's a fix for this so I looked up again I was just kind of searching around uh, Sora who's interesting on the forums is very helpful or she is very helpful is uh, the state that there's a known issue Random uh, DPC watchdog violation error when using multiple GPUs on motherboard motherboards with PLX chips. I was like, hmm. This has been an issue for a couple of months. It's been a known issue, um, and it's and it's the way that uh, you know uh, the since since a certain NVIDIA driver they changed interrupts. Windows uses a certain interrupt. NVIDIA uses a different kind. And uh, this can occur when using multiple hard drives or multiple uh, video cards. I am not using multiple video cards. I'm using one, but which brings me to my next situation here. This is the block diagram of uh, my CPU or my motherboard, right? So the uh, Intel Haswell E and then the PCH here. Um, just know that this is the main uh, CPU. These are the uh, RAM sticks, you know, connects with the PCU. Uh, this is the M.2 drive. You know, you can kind of navigate around. Um, the uh, PCIe is right here. And, uh, you know, all the other PCIe's are here as well. I think I have around seven or whatever. And then there's this PLX chip right here. And my PLX chip, my video card, and my sound card share the same PLX chip. And I'm thinking, hmm, my sound card might as well be another video card in the eyes of, you know, uh, NVIDIA gaming, whatever, you know, it's a, it's a specialized kind of piece of technology, whatever. It's being interrupted, and that's why the video card is failing or crashing, and then I'm getting these weird symptoms of my audio and I thought, you know, it uh, was a sample rate issue or a driver issue. No, it's the, this specialized chip on the X99 motherboard. So I was like, okay, there's an issue here. And this issue is still known. Um, let me try to find it. Random DPC watchdog violation when using multiple GPUs on motherboards with PLX chip. Not every motherboard has uh, PLX chips. Uh, check. They're usually under something called a PCH. Uh, PLX chips are used in kind of higher-end uh, workstation motherboards or, you know, people that um, are, you know, doing a lot of rendering. They have like a, this is a, this is a rendering uh, software. So anyway, there's a fix. Um, you have to enable MSI mode as a temporary workaround. Right, and there's a really nifty utility uh, that they have supplied until this is fixed. It's been an issue for eight months. It's so elusive, as far as I know, that they thought that they had a fix for it and they released it and the fix still kind of occurred. It's kind of a pain. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, MSI utility. Right -click. You download it, right-click, run it as admin. Yes. Oh, come on. There you go. Came back. Uh, so this is what's really interesting is uh, this is my um, NVIDIA GTX 970. The REQ is 40, and my Texas Instruments uh, 1394 Firewire card was also 40. So they're they're sharing the same uh, IRQ uh, location. So I just uh, ticked that. I hit apply, and then I exited and I saved, and it's still it's it it hasn't kind of crashed yet the uh, the symptoms of the sound card um, cutting out and coming back in um, have been solved um, and you know yeah it's just 
it, it works now. And what it is, is it's basically a known issue. And uh, I guess they're trying to, to nail it down. I guess it's not a priority because, you know, not everyone has these uh, kind of higher end motherboards, but they broke something. And and it kind of, yeah, we're still working on a fix. In the meantime, trying to, uh, you need to set the registry keys. and Yeah, and this was uh, during the summer. And uh, they're curious of why MSIs are not default at this point. They are used at the hardware level. So having the OS translate them to classic IRQs, it seems odd. And uh, yeah, they just, you know, I don't know the reason why. There must be a reason, though, since we used to use MSI a long time ago. So this, I guess the moral of the story is keep on investigating and, you know, don't, <laughs> like, if you have, like, specialized hardware with a specialized... I didn't even know, like, what was... I, 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 there's nothing in the manual about a PLX chip. It's in the block diagram. It's just something that allows, you know, multiple PCI uh, slots to uh, talk to the CPU. And uh, some um, video cards have them embedded within the video card. And uh, these these things, these things just happen. I don't know. Um, other than that, like, everything's working fine. And that's how I, uh, how I fixed uh, this issue. And the issue can be solved in one of two ways for those with the same kind of configuration as me is uh use the msi tool or oh man what uh what version what version do you roll back i'll find out right quick so there's the uh the version use driver 382.53 and the that driver is the last driver before this configuration came out and what did that when was that driver released let me just see when that driver was released the date was 2017 june 9th or june 12th, august 6th <laughs> or whatever anyway the saga is over and uh it looks like uh, i'm good to go uh, my computer is in a test kind of bench kind of situation. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more re-cable managing and things like that. Anyway, I've talked on long enough. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.